Good morning everyone, it's Yvonne here to do your What's Cracking reading. Uh, today is Friday, so this is for the weekend of course. So we're looking at the 4th, 5th and 6th of September. Unbelievable. Alrighty. Firstly, thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. Um, I did have a little bit of trouble uploading videos yesterday, so I went and did one live and then found a way to get around something a little later so I was able to do something. Five of Cups jumping out there. So I'm hoping it's going to work because I'm going to try it first this way today. They uh, YouTube has an, a new, uh, well it isn't new, it's been there for a while around protecting children which is fantastic. Normally I upload from, I tape on here, upload to the internet and then I do all the studio stuff. Um, but at the moment I can't upload the video because the thing blocks it by coming in and saying you've got to do the settings, but I can't do the settings at that point. That <laughs> was a bit frustrating yesterday, but anyway. So I found a way around it, so I hopefully it will work today, otherwise I'll just go live again and put these up a bit later. The thing is with the live ones, they take quite a long time to go to air. Um, so, um, okay, just quickly, few things uh, underneath this video, uh, personal readings, uh, donations, gifts, um, and just general updates. Um, you can go to my site at the Aussie, my Facebook page at the Aussie Goddess. Uh, I do keep it regularly updated there because I have a lot of people on my Facebook who aren't on YouTube. Um, so I keep an updated list of where I'm at. So at the moment I'm doing lives on YouTube Wednesdays, Instagram Fridays and um, doing a live card pull on Facebook. I think the next one's the 13th. So um, I'm doing offering life coaching at the moment. Had a tremendous response to the life coaching. I'm offering six sessions at a reduced price just to get you kick started. Um, you've got to commit to six sessions though. It's pointless trying to do any less. It won't really help you. So um, once I've got through, <laughs> I've got quite a lot there. Once I've got through them, I'll get them to give you some feedback on how it's helped them move forward. So um, it's about helping you to recognise things like the patterns in your life, narcissistic relationships, um, up childhood trauma, all of the things that have got you to where you are that you're now experiencing but may not feel that you know enough reasons why. So, okay, toxic relationships especially. Um, I think that's everything. All right, so I have the Rider right Waite Tarot here for your weekend reading. So let's see what's cracking. All right. Oh, that was the card that jumped out on me when I first started shuffling. So it's been a whole lot of shuffling since and I'm still coming up with the same card. Um, somebody's having trouble moving forward here after just talking about it. Um, they seem to be too focused on their past and not enough on the future. Now, when you're focusing on the past or you're stuck in the past, it's like actually sort of putting your hooks in. It's like something's got, you know, I always say they, they're claws in your britches. It actually holds your energy back. Um, my camera seems to be moving around a lot today, so I might keep off the table. Um, so it's sort of holding you back from having what you want. And very often there is something in your future. Now, something you lost in your past may return to you in your future as well. But all the time you're hanging on to the past energy, you're stopping everything from moving forward. So you're keeping your vibration in line with the sadness you feel. Okay, so some of you might have walked away from a marriage. This can be third party energy here walking away to be with someone new but there is definitely some sort of traditional um, traditional values here the other thing I'm feeling too very strongly here is sometimes the hierophant can talk about sort of the structures we've learned as a child or the structures that we've grown up with the stability perhaps our parents taught us but sometimes it can be about the way we've learned in our younger years, our the structures at school, learnings at school, work, friends, family. So it could be that you're held fast to the past 
because of an old way of thinking. Okay, I love this Wheel of Fortune coming through. So the Wheel of Fortune is a card that says, right, <laughs> we've let you do it on your own. You've come to the end of a cycle now and we're going to give you a bit of kickstart. Um, it is the card of karma. Um, it is the wheel turning in your favour. Sometimes we find it difficult to, uh, you know, move forward, let things go. Again, core beliefs holding you back. Um, traditions being sort of wiped out here in order for you to move forward are oh, beautiful. And this is going to bring you to a new sense of stability. Now, this can be in finances, in work. It could be in the beginning there you've lost a job. You may sort of feel with the hierophant that, you know, your job is everything to you. You may feel represented through the work you do. When the Ace of Pentacles comes around, it talks about building a stable future. It talks about things sort of rolling towards you, you know, new starts, new opportunities. So for some of you, this could be, you know, a new job. It could be a new relationship. Um, but it could just be you sort of starting out on your own, building a solid foundation. All right, let's see what your story shows. I love it. <laughs> My favourite ace. So the Ace of Swords is a card that talks about truth. It talks about communication. When it comes up as the ace, it's a, a new start with clarity, being able to communicate more effectively, being able to sort of you know, um, forge your way into the future and understanding which way to go. It also could be cutting out things that no longer serve you. So you could be gaining more stability by actually cutting out things that no longer serve you. So sometimes with your beliefs, you have to ask yourself, does this still work for me? Because if it's not working for you anymore, then maybe it's time to move on. So it could be that you're cutting relationships out here. You're cutting, some of you look like you're walking away from marriages. Um, for others of you, this could be walking away from a job or another opportunity or for another opportunity. But for, for the feeling here is that whatever you're leaving behind has been disrupting your stability. You may have thought it was stable, but that Five of Cups energy tells me that it wasn't stable. And whatever you're moving towards now is going to make you feel so much better because you didn't realise how perhaps glum you felt. All right, let's have a look at it. Okay, hanged man. So you've been looking at things from a completely different perspective now. So some of those core beliefs, you know, people hang on to jobs and relationships forever because of their core beliefs. You know, the core belief that, you know, if you marry someone, it's got to last forever and people are in miserable, very unhappy situations because they feel that they're married and they have to stay. Um, the thing is, that's all things that you're taught as a child. None of those really, um, none of those really have the, have the, how would you say? Come on, spirit, help me out here have the, the value or the weight that they may have had years ago because people were living very much in the human mind, in the human brain, and we're realising now. Um, not all relationships are meant to last forever. Some are only there to teach us, um, to teach us new things, to teach us about ourselves. Um, you're not the same person when you're 18, getting married as what you are, when you're 40 and you've been through a lot of life experiences. Some people grow, some people become more spiritual, other people stay where they were, looking back at the past, hanging on to old music, old ways of doing, old ways of being, um, and refuse to move forward. The hanged man says to me that something here has been either shown to you or you've seen a different future here. A different future this is why you're forging in now to cut away things that no longer serve you you have clarity you can see it now the universe has shown this to you now that is the third ace in this reading okay so we had the ace of pentacles up front we've had the ace of swords and the ace of wands this is your passion returning this is feeling feeling what you're seeing feeling what you're doing this is getting back to understanding 
who you are. Perhaps some of you have lost your passion in your job, lost your passion in your relationship. Um, there is definitely this feeling, though, that, that you've got a brand new start that's going to be extremely passionate. So then you ask yourself, what is the ace that's missing here? Because I have the ace of wands, the ace of swords, the ace of pentacles. We do not have the ace of cups. So for me, some of you are going after love because you don't have your love where you are or you don't have access to the love you want. Sometimes this can be self-love. So you could be on the search for self-love too. All right, so this is you packing up your ideas, your thoughts, your communication, whatever else you need to do and sort of taking a bit of a, a runaway in the middle of the night here. You're moving away from something that doesn't serve you and taking your lessons with you. Um, for some of you, you'll be doing this very quietly. You're not making a fuss about it. So you might just be cutting people off without telling them that you're cutting them out of your life. But moving away from things that no longer serve you here. All right, so we have the Emperor card coming out. So the Emperor is a person, can represent Aries. We do have Pisces on the table here too. Um, can represent Aries. The Emperor is a person who is at the top of their game. They're the culmination of all four kings here. So they've learned all the lessons they need to learn. They are very often well-educated, very knowledgeable, um, can be a little bit controlling because they feel that they have the right to be in charge, but the control isn't something that is born out of manipulation, it's born out of leadership. So whoever this person is, I feel like it's your energy. I feel like you're taking your power back here, learning who you are. Wow, so we have the Emperor and Empress together here. <laughs> okay. So, and a full card. Wow, what a reading. I know you're all out there going hooly dooly. You know you are. <laughs> okay, so some of you are moving towards something that you feel is right for you, is meant for you. Some of you are taking a leap of faith here, walking away from things that no longer serve you and moving towards what things you want to have in your life. For others of you, this is about taking your power back and rebirthing yourself or bringing yourself into a time that sits with your passions, with your energies. What a beautiful reading. I don't even want to go any further. I feel quite emotional already. I'm thinking this is such a wonderful reading for whoever this reading is for. Okay, so we have love coming in. Um, soulmate relationship. Obviously with the Emperor and Empress here, we have Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine. So very much Twin Flame feels. So some of you are walking away from a situation that no longer serves you and walking towards someone who you believe is your match, your soulmate, Twin Flame. Um, wanting to walk down a different pathway. See, you're leaving this wand behind. You're picking up this new wand here. And you're going with the new wand because the old wand isn't really right for you anymore. I feel with it being attached to the wall here, it's like your old life is, it's not growing anymore. It's not really, it's not really producing what you want it to produce. This one's much bigger and you've already chosen it. So some of you have made a decision here to walk away from something old and walk towards something new. Oh, look at this. Can't make this up, can you? So it's a closing out of a cycle. So for some of you here, this is, um, this is definitely closing out some sort of cycle of your past to move towards the future. I feel like with this Two of Wands, you've realised that you can't take another situation any further, that it's sort of past its use by date here. Um, beautiful reading. So this is you now deciding to leave something behind here and walk towards the Two Cups. I feel that some of you may be leaving a marriage behind, a relationship behind, but this could also signify you're moving towards a new, new agreement, a new contract, a new marriage. The Wheel of Fortune stepped in here now and I feel like with the Hanged Man here, it's given you an, it's given you an insight into the future. It's, it's sort of helped you to realise that you've done the work in the past that you needed to do to release that energy. So what you were doing in the past no longer serves you. You're growing 
and you're bringing in this beautiful new stability here. So you're opening up a brand new world for yourself. Wow, so the only one that didn't come up was the Ace of Cups. So that says to me, you're definitely on a journey of love. There are too many cards in here to say any differently. Um, and beautiful cards too. One, two, three, four, five. Made five major arcanas, so half major arcanas and three aces in the whole thing. So beautiful, beautiful reading. All right, let's pour you an oracle card. Well, I hope this reading goes up to the up to the internet <laughs> the way it should. That would be really disappointing. Well, that's very strange. We have the card of indecision here. So why is there indecision? Maybe someone's still in the process of doing this. Maybe it hasn't actually started to happen yet, but somebody's already received the downloads. Which choice to make? This card marks the presence of two or more possible choices in your life. It shows you anxiously looking at two roads, wondering which one would be the better choice. Well, isn't that the case there? <laughs> um, yet... You are standing still, feeling confused by the up and down emotions of your present indecision. You could spend days, months, or even years in this back and forth energy, all the while feeling your focus and your life force energy draining away. This indecision creates a paralysis of will, one that can keep you stuck while you're waiting to be certain about the results of your choice, which is this energy. It's time to let go of the analysis and self-doubt that you've been keeping you stuck. Meditate on the options and see where your spirit guides you, which is the hanged man energy. Um, consider which direction resonates with you most, both in the process and in the goal. Follow your heart and make the honouring choices. Have a wonderful weekend.